Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby if you're new here. And today I'm going to be showing you a tour of my apartment in Edmonton, Canada. A lot of people are moving to Canada and I get lots of questions about how much is it for rent? How much do I, am I expected to budget to pay my bills? So I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse at how much I spend and what my space looks like. And I hope that you'll be able to make your own decisions from here regarding what kind of space you want to get. So you need to research what actually fits you. The way I live fits my own preference. So you have to look for what fits your preference. If you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing because it really does help my channel grow. And also at the end of this video, if you feel like I have been able to share anything new with you, please go ahead and click the like button. So awesome, let's get right into it. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, as most of you know already, and I live right downtown. So what does that mean? I live at the core of the city. Where I work is about 10 minutes walk from where I live. And the reasons I chose to live downtown are because one, I didn't want to get a car. And if you have watched a few of my videos or anybody who talks about Canada, you know that having a car is pretty essential. But for me, I chose not to get a car because I wanted to keep my own expenses really low as at the time I moved here. So I didn't get a car then and I haven't gotten one now. Because I knew I wasn't planning to get a car soon, I chose to leave downtown where it would be closer to where I work. So I got a place downtown. I would do a quick tour about my place. I just wanted to share that my space is not really big by big standards. It's about 400 square feet. It's a studio, which means everything is in one. My bedroom is in one. My parlor is in one or sitting area is in one. I have a separate bathroom and I have a little cut out kitchen. But for definition purposes, I live in a studio apartment. And for me, it really works because for this studio right downtown, I was lucky. Okay, well, I don't know if you say lucky. My building is not really new. It's not a brand new building, it's quite old. I think it was built in the 1980s or even earlier, I'm not too sure, but my building is pretty old, right downtown, and it lacks a few amenities. It doesn't have air conditioning, so that's something I usually do without. I have a fan, I don't particularly like the cold, so I don't really care for air conditioning, to be honest. So my building doesn't have air conditioning, and it doesn't have those nice, posh kitchen appliances where you have like a nice extractor. It's pretty no frills. But for me, what I wanted was a place that was right downtown. So for my space, which is 400 square feet, I pay a total of approximately a thousand Canadian dollars. And that is also with all my bills inclusive. And when I speak about bills, I speak about water, I speak about heating, and I speak about electricity. So these three bills are included in a thousand dollars, including parking as well. Although I don't have a car, Parking is also included and parking is one thing that is so expensive here because I live right at the core of downtown Parking for a month here downtown runs up to eight hundred one thousand dollars for a month So having parking very close to the core downtown is really good and as a matter of fact a friend of mine uses my parking so win-win for everybody so it's a thousand bucks for my place and that includes electricity that includes water that includes heating as well and obviously when it's winter i'm skyrocketing the heating because i don't like the cold and i think that's really important for people who are looking for places to stay you have to consider things like heating if you don't have heating included and it's winter time your heating bill will go up because you will use a lot of heating. So that's something you need to consider when you're getting a place. Make sure heating is included. Another thing that's excluded for mine is internet. Although when you're looking for a place, many realtors would always offer one year free internet if you sign an annual lease. And that's what I did. I got the free internet for I think it I think one year free internet but subsequently I started having to pay for my internet myself which is fine because that runs me up to I think 60 bucks which I have also included in my total bill so when I first came here I was actually staying with a friend of mine when I left her place this was what I could afford and it was fine I really really like it um, I'm not minimalist but I do like the fact that my space is small enough for me to use it to its entirety um, 
So even when I got like better jobs, I just sort of weighed it though. I didn't want to leave downtown. I liked the fact that it was convenient. So I decided to just keep on staying here and it has worked perfectly for me. So to summarize this whole video, I just want to let people that are coming here know that your coming to Canada is not to compete with anybody. When I got better jobs though, I still evaluated staying here because a few friends of mine expected that I would upgrade and move to a one bedroom apartment or a two bedroom apartment or, or even buy my own house. But for me, I didn't want to do those things. It's not like I cannot afford it. I can definitely afford to get my own house if I wanted to. But for me, I have specific plans on what really adds value to me and getting my place right now it's not really that important to me. So the reason I sort of bring this up is just to encourage you people coming here or those who've lived here for a while, that honestly, it's not a competition. You need to find what works for you. If a small space works for you, fantastic. If a, big, a bigger, larger space works for you, live your life, it's your life. But for me, I chose this and I wanted to be able to show you guys my space and see how I make you work. The kitchen's fine, the storage is fine. In fact, it actually tells me not to buy junk because I don't have space to keep junk. And uh, yeah, it really, really does work for me. And I hope this sort of shed light on how accommodation is here in Edmonton and the options you have. So hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick home tour and we're gonna start at the kitchen. That's the door we just came in through. Our coat hangers. And then you get a kitchen. It's a microwave, some cabinets, a stove. The stove is pretty old, but it works a sink, plates, and a fridge. Some more cabinet storage up there. So let's see what's in here. So really it's just a lot of our household stuff. I have some books. I have my wine cabinet here. There's no wine though. And I have a bottle of soju. It's kind of almost empty. Then I have some more books, some cookbooks and just some more storage up on top. So I have a little of uh, knickknacks, just things there. And if we go to the next side, this is a shoe sort of rack. So I just closed it because uh, my shoes are sort of a mess. And now this is my place. So it's a studio or it's what people will call here a bachelor pad. And um, that just means everything is just in one space together. So if you stand right at this end of the room, you see the bed. So I have a little sit out corner here with some TV. So if it's my needs, as I mentioned earlier, and um, just some bedside, lighting my prayer book so this is my clothing cabinet there's a mirror here so you can definitely see the fact that there's a ton of them um, I'm not gonna open it because <laughs> you shall be scared but there is a lot of storage space here so I even have like luggage and boxes here also that I have just kept here and you can see there's more space in here. So it's all full and gem packed because I am not a minimalist at all. I utilize every bit of my space. So I'm just gonna show you what the bathroom looks like. So remember, we're coming straight from the bedroom and then just open that up. There you go. 
it's decent size I do prefer bigger bathrooms and bigger kitchens but as I mentioned I was working within my budget so I chose to sort of just stick with what I could afford at the time so if you just have a look this is what it looks like you have a little mirror here with a lot of um, space for like whatever else you need your beauty um, items you also do have a lot of storage down here so that works and this is just a bat so it does open up and um, yeah coming back out of the bathroom you saw this before it's just the same space but there's a nice little window here so that you can see as you can see there's precipitation on my window because it is nice and warm inside but it is beginning to snow outside I don't know if you can see it most apartments here do not come with curtains but I love having curtains because they are like blackout curtains so I can sleep and the lights not too bright when I wake up so I always put curtains here in whatever apartments I have and as I mentioned this is downtown and it's pretty affordable it's good for what I need I want you guys to see snow though it is October and it's already beginning to snow but it does give you a nice uh, little view from my apartment as to what downtown really is it gets a little bit noisy but personal preference I would prefer to stay downtown so yeah that is my apartment though and for those of you who wonder where I actually shoot my videos I sit on this table and it looks like that so I just sit and that's the backdrop you see so this is what my place looks like it works for me I like it and I don't get into debt so yeah I just wanted to do a quick tour with you guys and I hope you enjoyed seeing my Canadian space so yes that's all I wanted to say if this video has been helpful or enlightening in any way please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe as well thank you so much for watching again and I will see you over at my next video bye